four months ago, we got our new Rad Rover 6s, which we love. And two months later, we got an 11 month old puppy named Louie, who we also love. But then we thought, wait a minute, do these two actually go together? Or does, does one, one have, have to go? go? Thankfully, neither one has to go. After a little research, we came across this Rad Power Bikes pet basket carrier, and thanks to Rad Power Bikes for sponsoring this video. We have truly enjoyed being brand ambassadors for the past year and a half as we travel the country in our RV. Okay, I was just kidding about getting rid of little Louie. I have grown to love that little guy more and more every single day. And that's why we were so excited to get this solution so that we can combine our passion for riding our e-bikes and our love of our little puppy, which we obviously can't leave alone right now. So this isn't gonna be for every single dog size and breed out there. Uh, it's kind of a smaller basket, I guess. It's uh, 13 inches tall, roughly by about 20 inches long and about 12 inches on the depth. And so they say that it's rated at roughly 12 pounds. So it is definitely designed for the smaller breed dogs. So we've had this for just about a week now and we're still introducing little Louie into this basket carrier and getting him comfortable so that we can go on longer and longer rides. And there's some tricks definitely that you need to do uh, to get him comfortable with it. I'm sure some dogs will jump right in and love it, but uh, our little guy does not absolutely love uh, carriers and kennels and things like that. So uh, it's nice that the flap can stay open and his head can kind of pop out. But before we get too much into the basket carrier itself, uh, a few things that it works with for these rad power bikes is the large style basket. And uh, below that is the rear rack system as well. And this can go on to the front of the bike, so with the front rack and then a large basket and then the carrier inside of that. Um, and I think some people would prefer to have it in the front over in the back. Now, as long as your model can have a rear rack, then this large basket can mount uh, right onto the rack. And then the carrier itself has Velcro on three sides, which Velcros um, the carrier to the basket itself. Now, although we are ambassadors for the company, we still keep all of our reviews real and honest. And one thing I wanna point out that I would like to see improved on it is the Velcro system itself. It's designed to go over this double X part. And to me, the Velcro could be just a little bit longer so that it could go over it. Or if it was in a different position where it could just go over this bar or this bar, but it's designed to go on the middle section itself. And another solution around that would be like a backup kind of safety ring that like clips onto the basket itself just to give it some extra stability. So assembly of all this was pretty simple. The basket just mounts onto the rear rack with four screws and then the carrier itself Velcros on, like I said. So very simple. Um, the rack and the basket is designed to go uh, lengthwise like this instead of the uh, perpendicular way. Um, it does fit that way, but looking at Rad Power Bikes recommendations, they recommend it go sideways, I'm assuming for maybe weight distribution, unless you have that longer Rad Wagon that has a longer rear rack. And so the features of this basket, it is a really nice high quality design and it's a two piece design. So the zipper comes off like that. So you have the top part with the ventable mesh right here as well as the opening. And then um, on the inside of the bottom portion, which is kind of made out of this uh, more rubber, like waterproof material, which is kind of cool. And then padded uh, foam on the inside, as well as a removable kind of bottom section. It's like another little mat, maybe to make it a little bit more comfortable for your dog. And then it's nice that you can remove it so that you could clean it out and keep it nice. Inside there is a D-ring 
which uh, it does not come with a leash. So you gotta make sure you have the right kind of style and size leash and harness for your dog. One other thing that I really liked about the uh, top portion here is this reflective piping. So at night, it's like uh, a nice big reflection for some added visibility and safety. And so what we did uh, with this is we started training Louie in just this open portion, kind of getting him used to the basket and getting on the bike and the movement. And then we would just latch him in with his little harness here. And that way you're not shoving him inside of the uh, carrier itself. And he kind of, I think, associates that with a kennel or a pet carrier. So also in the future, as Louis grows, cause he's gonna grow uh, to be a little bit too big for this. He's already kind of right at the max size height for in here. Uh, he probably only weighs about 10 or 12 pounds, but he's right around that 12 to 13 inches. So he kind of uh, hits the top of this. But once he gets trained and used to it, um, possibly he'll be able to ride in the back uh, in the open here and we'll be able to have a nice safety harness on him and uh, continue to use it that way. And then something we noticed right away as well as how nice the carrier is, um, how nice it's going to be ha to have this big basket here too. Um, we're thinking about like, you know, grocery shopping as well as, you know, errands, laundry, hauling our trash at the RV parks, that type of thing will be really cool to have. Um, if you've seen our previous videos, you know, we have these Topeak paneer uh, style bags on our other bikes. And we really do love those for getting groceries and uh, having some accessibility. So we'll have the pet carrier on one and then the Topeak paneer bags on the other. And since we do keep our bikes on the back of our RV on a rack, uh, the width on this is probably not going to allow us to do that. So thankfully it's just four bolts that will come right out. And so we may have to uh, put the basket on and off each time. So when we were riding around with Louie in the basket, um, I could feel him shift the weight a little bit as he was standing, but I think once he gets used to it and lies down and gets a little bit more comfortable, um, it was really easy to ride around with this and it didn't really shift your weight that much or throw it off. As Aaron mentioned, we've only had this pet carrier basket for about a week, and so far the training has been slow and steady, and we've been making good progress. The very first thing we did was to take the carrier inside of our RV, so we actually removed it from the bike completely to bring it into an area where Louis is already comfortable. We would leave the top off, we'd throw some treats in there to get him hopping in and out, which he did. He'd go in there, grab some treats, hang out for a little bit. And then we graduated to putting the carrier in the basket and doing the treat training outside on the bike. And then our next step was taking him on rides up and down the blocks here. And we're doing this very slowly and very gradual for short bursts every day at like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes at the most, because we want this to be an enjoyable experience for him. And so we're taking it nice and slow so that he doesn't feel like he's being rushed into anything. And he's thinking that he's the boss here. So he's been liking it so far. And a little bit of training every day is just the approach that we're taking. And hopefully with some time and consistency, he'll be comfortable taking a long ride to a destination point. He's been really comfortable on the roadways here once we get going. I think that like similar to in a car, that smooth vibration is kind of comforting to him. The only time he gets really antsy in there is if we stop and chit chat with people because then he's just sitting there cooped up and he wants to know who we're talking to. And other than that though, it seems to be going pretty well. So we're gonna keep at it and hopefully take some short trips with him in no time. So stay tuned for more videos featuring our bikes and Louie as we travel the country. And thanks again to Rad Power Bikes for sponsoring this video. See you next time.